Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. This is Gail Andrea from Andrea Finney's Kitchen. And as you can see from this video, this is coconut tart. You know, this is made with coconut and all these spices, the nutmeg, the coconuts, the cinnamon, okay? The ginger, sugar, and a nice, nice, nice flaky pastry. So if you want to see how this delicious looking tart is done, Keep viewing. When you are home in a lockdown situation and everybody just not doing nothing, looking sad, they can't go outside and play, you can't go nowhere. Well, what best to do to make some nice local Trinidad recipes? So today I'm going to be doing in my kitchen some coconut tart. And I'm telling you, this is such a simple, simple recipe. It is not complicated, easy to make, easy ingredients, okay? So for this recipe, I'm going to be using some coconut this is one coconut right I'm going to be using some sugar unsalted butter cut in cubes and it's cold right it's not soft it's very hard and here I have some vanilla extract simple simple ingredients cinnamon brown ginger nutmeg straight from the island of Grenada and you must have a fork right so here we go with all right so the flour here what I'm going to do I'm going to sift this flour and all these um, measurements are going to be posted in the description box you sift your flour and then somebody give me this nice little gift I said, let me make use of it. Of it. You can use a regular um, strain uh, sifter, the sifting flour. Gonna add the salt. I'm gonna add the butter. And you see, you're not going to, um, you're not going to use your hands. You try not to, you try to avoid using your hands when you're rubbing in the butter into this flour. Because what happens? You you see the palm of your hand. The heat from the palm of your hand will soften the butter and your pastry will be kind of oily. You understand? You don't want that. So if you want to use your hand, you can have to use the tips of your finger or else you use a fork and rub it in. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to use the tips of your finger to rub it, rub the um, butter in. Use the tips of your finger like this. You rub it in. Now you can feel the hardness of the butter still. That is what you want to feel. You don't want to feel no soft, soft butter. It must be hard. Use the tips of your finger. Some people put it in a food processor. But I like to do the old-fashioned way. Until it feels like, you know, crummy, like breadcrumbs. When you're finished, you want to try and get all of it. The next thing you do, you know, like when you're mixing cement, for all the masons out there, when you're mixing cement, you have to make a little hole. And you put a little bit of water at a time. A little bit of water at a time. And you mix it in. You see now if you put too much of water at one time, it will develop too much of gluten. And you don't want that. And you see I have some you see I have some ice in the water to keep that the water really cold and nice so you have that nice flaky effect when it is finished so your dough it look like this see so what you're gonna do you're gonna take some of this cling wrap and you want to wrap that dough
and I'm going to place this in the refrigerator for at least 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, the dough has been needed for the flaky pastry, right? In my kitchen today, guys, welcome. We are making coconut tarts. So I'm going to take the coconut that has been chopped into small pieces and washed and empty it into this blender. You want all those pieces, right, in the blender. And what you're going to do to help it in the blending, you add a little bit of water. coconut has been blended really nicely I'm going to empty it into this bowl and I want you to look at the consistency of the coconut all right so this is the coconut so to this coconut, listen what's going to happen. I'm going to add the sugar. I'm going to add some ground ginger. You could use grated ginger if you want. I'm going to add some cinnamon, ground cinnamon. A little bit of vanilla essence. And last but not least, grated nutmeg. That, that nutmeg really bring out the flavor of this coconut tart. And you, you combine it together now. While I'm combining it, I'll put the stove on, on high. If you want, you can add more sugar. I think this is just enough. All right, so I'm gonna add the combination of all those nice spices with the coconut. I'm telling you, this thing smells so nice already into the pot. And what you want to do, you want to stir it up. Now if you're making more, you just double up the bulk and stuff like that, right? Now you see how it's bubbling up? You want this to cook on the stove for like about a little 15 minutes. Because you want everything to be incorporated nicely. It smells so good with that ginger. And this is going to be the filling for the coconut tart. Right? So let it cook for the next 12 to 15 minutes and I'll be back. So, I've had this on for about 12 minutes, this amount of coconut, and this is how it looks. You don't want to see, you don't want to see too much liquid inside of it, okay? And it must be cooked properly. And while you're going through it, if you find that it has pieces of coconut, like, like this piece here, you just take it out, okay? You take out this piece. But this looks good. It smells good. It smells really good. And this is the filling. So you turn off your stove and you set that aside. Now, the next thing you do now, you focus on the dough. So this dough has been chopped. So this is the dough. I took it out from the refrigerator. And I'm going to remove the cling wrap. And give it another, give it another dough, another roll. Right? Now you want to take your rolling pin and roll it out. You see it is not sticking. It's not really sticking to the arm. Rolling pin. And if it is sticking, you just take a little flour. Yeah, and you sprinkle a little flour on the surface. And roll it out. Take it on and roll it out. Now we are not making bake. 
We are making coconut tart. So you can you can get in your kitchen, get you a small glass, anything that is circular. It all depends on the size. And what you're gonna make, you're gonna cut out the dough. So what I do now, I roll it out. You roll it out, and you take some of that filling in the pot. You see how nice the filling is? It's not too dry. You don't want it too dry, because it starts to stick together. And you put it in the middle. You put it in the middle here. You're making some nice coconut tarts. And what you're gonna do now, I take a little bit of water, just a little bit of cold water, and you just pass it on the ends. This will help it stick together. And then you fold over, fold it over. See how it looks? Nice shape. You can make it bigger than that if you want. You take your finger and you seal around the ends. And just squeeze down the middle a little bit. See the texture of this? You take a fork, not too big a fork, and you want to get the ends, not all the way in. See, you get the ends. And this is a real delicious treat, guys. Right? Real delicious. Okay, and I'm squeezing on the ends. Look how beautiful. See how firm and nice it is? And you put it here. So I'm gonna do the rest and I'll be back. So the oven has been set at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is how lovely the tart looks. Right? So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make little holes, take the fork, and just stick it in the middle. So this is how it looks, and I'm gonna stick it in the oven. And this is gonna bake for like until it's golden brown, probably 20 25 minutes until it's golden brown. Okay, guys, and I'll be back with the completion of the coconut tart. Okay, the tart has been in the oven for like 16 minutes. So, what I'm going to do here right now is to make a glaze for the top of the tart. So, what I'm going to be using is some water and sugar, brown sugar. So, I have here some water and sugar, one quarter cup of water and two tablespoons of brown sugar. So you sort of combine it together. And to that also, I add a little drop of vanilla essence. And you combine it together. You combine it together. And the next step is to remove the tarts from the oven. Okay. Ah, uh, this is a tart. Oh. Everything smells so good in the kitchen, really good. So what I'm going to do now, use this sugar liquid. You see, you see, you see why I put the little holes and stuff. You see all the air coming out. If you focus good, you're gonna see a bubble coming out from here. So it's aerating it. All right. So what I'm going to do, put some of this mixture and glaze the top of each of these tarts. everyone for those of you who have been looking at my video this is the end product of my coconut tart and look at the color in the back of it oh my goodness it have this nice golden look and it smells so 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 delicious right it smells so delicious it's well evenly distributed and just the size it's you don't have to fight up with it kids don't have to fight up with it it's not going to be drooling all on your hand and this is how co coconut tart really looks from in my kitchen so if you like my channel like share and subscribe for a, and don't forget to hit the notification bell for any new video so this is a gail andrea see you back again with another pastry cooking in my kitchen bye